What is this shit? What the fuck? It is my 21st birthday tomorrow and I didn't really think about it too much until a few hours ago really. I mean I know it's kind of silly, you know, building up to your 21st birthday, you should be planning shit and getting all hyped with your mates and that, I didn't do any of that. I just kind of let it approach and it's kind of snuck up on me man. Today I was in the office and someone, you know, it. It became like, I don't know how, someone asked me or something, or it got mentioned, but it was like, <gasps> you're 21 tomorrow, <gasps> you're doing anything, oh, key in the door, all this fucking weird shit, and it was like, oh, I'm not really, I haven't got really anything planned, and it, when I said that, everyone just went quiet, man, every person I said it to, they were like, <gasps> You doing anything? You doing anything? Uh, not really. I haven't got any plans. Oh, uh, well, fair enough. And it just once I got back to my desk, it just made me so depressed. I sat there and I was just thinking, oh, I'm going to be 21 tomorrow, and I've just spent so I've wasted so much time being sad and upset and depressed about things and just killing time every night just going home and killing time man it's so fucked and i'm gonna be 21 it's supposed to be the best years of my life and i've spent a fucking run up to it just fucking wasting time and being upset and sad about sh fucking anything finding any excuse not to be productive and make my life better to, to be happier it's that fucking, it's that whole situation of like, doing nothing makes you unhappy, but you're too unhappy to do anything. And I've just been stuck in that for so long. And I don't know what it was, just like a few hours ago, everyone asking me what I was doing for my 21st and saying like, oh, it's the beginning, it's the beginning of everything. And I just thought, oh my God, I cannot go on the way I've been going on because it just makes me want to cry. And I sat there for a good half an hour in the office, just holding back the tears, just thinking about all the time I've wasted that I should have been and could have been. Fucking loving it. And if I don't make 21 my year, I'm just, it's just gonna be the beginning of the rest of a life, a wasted life. If I don't turn things around and make this year the one to fucking remember, it's just going to be downhill, it's going to downward spiral, I'll keep wasting time and being unhappy about shit, and never getting off my ass and doing things to make myself happier. And I just, I can't tell you, I've never, well, I have felt sad before, obviously, I've got depression and anxiety. And it's fucked up, you know. I just sit there and think, why is someone my age feeling like I do? It's not normal. Some people go their whole lives without feeling this bad, and it's not—it's not even like you have to have anything massively wrong. It's just not having the motivation to make things better. I feel like things have just fallen into my lap sometimes, even though I have worked hard. 
and I do work hard for what I have, it's just I don't feel like I'm going anywhere. I just, I, just, I, I can't, I can't do another year of wasting time and being unhappy. Even if I'm still unhappy, just don't waste time because then at least you can say you tried, you know? I'm just so scared of trying and trying really hard. Like I have done in the past. I've really tried before to turn things around. And when I fail, it's just the worst thing ever. You just feel like no matter what you do, you're going to get back to square one and it's going to feel just as bad again. And then the cycle repeats. You start wasting time just to get by. Just emotionally getting by. That's the only way I can describe it. I've been emotionally getting by for the last few years now. It's really not good. I mean, the most recent sort of renaissance and spike in happiness was when I started the YouTube channel, when I first got into motorbikes. Because I got off my ass and I did it, man. I did it all on my own. And it was fucking amazing and I wanted to share it with the world. And now I just feel like I'm coasting along. Well, that's why the videos have been slowing down. It's, it's crazy. It really is. I really, really have to try and make this life. Not just this year, just make this life. You know, one that I can look back on and think I tried my hardest and it was fucking awesome. That's all I want. I'd die happy if I could think that. I really would. I mean, oh. I was just having a bit of a, you know, just as I was leaving work I had my music on and I was thinking about stuff. I had a feeling that I wanted to have a, like a, I wanted to start talking to myself basically. <laughs> it's weird when you get into it and you have a camera on all the time. You sort of think, oh, shall I talk to myself today? Yeah, why not? Go on then. <laughs> And I knew it was coming, but as I was leaving work and just thinking to myself, the only thing I could think of was, the only person that can pick you out of a rut is you. Unless you've got some pretty amazing people in your life, the only person that can get you out of your rut is you. And if you start, the worst thing I ever did in recent history, in recent times was trick myself into thinking that someone else would pick me out of that rut. I thought it would fix things if I had someone there to pick, to carry me along and it's just not, it wouldn't have been good. That's not right man, it's really not right. You have to be a strong enough person to, to keep yourself going before you get into any of that. I realise that now. You have to be comfortable in your own skin and able to cope on your own before you can think about getting involved with someone else on a deeply emotional level. Because thinking that someone else is going to fix your problems is very naive and it's not fair on the other person to give them that burden. And because you're because I was so desperate to get, to not be alone, because I thought this person could fix all my issues, I couldn't, I couldn't stop chasing them. I couldn't stop chasing it. Because in my head I was chasing happiness. But I wasn't really, I was already deeply unhappy. I just thought it would make things better if I had someone to lean on. You have to be able to pick yourself up. And that's what I want to try and do now. That's what I want to try and do when I turn 21 tomorrow. It needs to be a turning point, otherwise I'm going to go down a dark path of regret and sadness. More and more fucking sadness. Fuck, you know. Why can't I just be a normal 20 year old man? I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone else, but fucking hell, I just struggle with everything. I just feel like I struggle more than everyone else. I'm not saying I'm better than everyone else, I'm saying I'm fucking worse. I can't fucking get through this life without struggling. 
all the time making mountains out of molehills every single day I'm gonna do it though, I'm gonna do it this year's gonna be the year and hopefully the YouTube channel reflects that because when I first started the YouTube my early videos were so much funnier than my ones now even though the editing was worse and I didn't have any channel art and you know the transitions were shit and I used Windows Media Player and Windows Movie Maker it was just so much funnier because I wasn't just fucking moping about all the time and listening to music when I ride I was actually just fucking loving it every single ride I loved it I couldn't wait to get home and look at the footage because it was like oh yeah that ride was I want to look at that ride but now oh, it's just yeah if I can I know I still love riding I, re I know I do if I can shake off this fucking get this monkey off my back and the videos are going to be coming back on full form and they'll be, they'll be funny like they used to be because now I really rely on the editing to try and make them funny because I'm just never in a good mood it's really sad it really is and because obviously I'm a better rider now he says I don't get as many encounters with motorists with other motorists so the kind of bad driving compilation side of it is done because there isn't enough bad driving to put in videos so yeah those of you that are interested in what I do how I'm doing etc that should explain it and I'm sorry it's like the third or fourth ranty sort of emotional video like this but this is the only place I can get it off my chest it really is because you can probably tell from the way I've been talking I'm not very close to a lot of people I don't have a lot of people to confide in I have to confide in myself and this fucking video camera I truly believe just keep, keep doing the right things stay on the right course make those active improvements to your life and it's all going to be good I'm not expecting miracles I'm just I'd like to see some results for my efforts I've been going to the gym like pretty consistently and that's helped my confidence a bit but I just everything else has been the same and obviously the YouTube's gone downhill the year of getting off your ass and doing things so that even if you are sad you will at least be sad and productive and hopefully you know it'll be like a, a snowball effect once I start doing shit it'll sort of build and build and then the fact that I do all this stuff will make me happy again because it's all good stuff it's stuff I like doing so yeah it makes sense logically so we'll see how it goes keep you updated. Oh, such a troubled youth. So grateful for this outlet though. I really am. And your comments mean, mean a lot. They mean a lot. Just reminds me that there are people out there that are willing to listen to my bullshit. Yeah, maybe only because it's in the format of riding a motorbike and because I do make funny videos as well, but well, <laughs> depends if you find them funny or not. Some people do. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to know that other people are interested. Because it's easy to feel very lonely in this world sometimes. It's the same really as the whole biker community thing. You feel like you're part of something when you're on a bike. Although often when you just commute to work and back, you don't see the, uh, you don't see that side of it as much as you'd like to. We're almost home now, so I'll probably sign off. Oh, and can I just say Tinder? What a load of bollocks.